Hello, everyone. Welcome to a Saturday afternoon Tabletop Gold stream. I'm Lars Castine. I'm our Matt Humphreys. And uh, we are two folks that you might know from the Tabletop Gold podcast. We are an actual play podcast playing the Pathfinder second edition uh, tabletop role-playing game. We also stream video games related to, to role-playing games. What we are doing today is we're going to play the brand new Marvel Tactics game Midnight Suns. Why are we playing this game, Armat? What does this have to do with tabletop role-playing games? Uh, well, I suspect it has one. It's kind of tabletopy in terms of being a tactics game. Yeah. Uh, two, um, I like to pretend I'm Wolverine. Have been ha since I was, uh, uh -huh. you know, this high. Yeah. Um, yep. Very good. <laughs> And uh, I, you know, I'm the best at what I do, and what I do is pretend to be Wolverine. Basically. Okay, good. It, well, let's... It's not very nice, but it's. Uh, I think it's not nice. that bad either. I think it's quite nice. We're <laughs> gonna get into it. Let's get some. Uh, let's get this game going. Armin, Heck let yeah. me know if you are not sending me audio. Let... Oh, there it is. There's that. Yeah, audio sorry, audio I was play. just uh, all good. No worries. Away since. Um... Yeah, so this is a tactics game. This is like yeah. a, the odd tactics game uh, uh, based on the Marvel Cinematic, no, Marvel, whatever, the Marvel family of universes. And uh, and we're starting right at the beginning. So let's yeah. let's get going, let's, let's do it. Awesome, I am hyped. Let's start with normal, I think. Uh... I it doesn't... Uh, yeah, let's do no let's do normal. Here's what I know about this game, Armand. We're we're obviously hitting this cold. Yeah. Um what I know about this is that this game is kind of half XCOM with some important distinctions. Love half, it. Half um Fire Emblem Three Houses. There's like a dating Ooh. sim aspect of this game where you like make I... friends with Wolverine to get him better cards and stuff and Sweet. two it's a deck not a deck builder uh, in, the, oh. in the traditional sense but it is a it is a game where each character has a deck um and you uh you modify that each each card is their moves and stuff like that oh. but whatever let's get into it i, I think that. we're going to start off with some character creation which i'm very excited about i'm going to get up and adjust this dumb light thing here that is <laughs> screwing up so cool. just give me a sec yeah yeah um, but yeah, uh, honestly, uh, this is scratching so many of my itches because I loved XCOM. I love deck builders. I have a truly disturbing number of hours in Slay the Spire. Um, so this is like all my my ish. The only way it could be that much better is if it were uh, DC. But you know, hey, nothing's perfect. A little bit of crossbones yeah, kind of, here. Kind of me too, to some extent. Like, um, I this is this is ticking a lot of a lot of boxes for me. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna even make a okay. Let's see what Doctor Faust has to say about this. Yeah. Awaken and reclaim what is yours. You who rise the moon in darkness. Who prepares? So Lars, you're more up on Marvel comics sort of continuity than I am, right? Because I'm no. Hell no. I'm woefully underinformed about um, Marvel comics continuity at this point. Yeah, so I've really only ever read X-Men comics and mm. I've read some of Jonathan Hickman's Fantastic Four run? No, his, his X-Men uh, run, which I believe is either ongoing or just ended recently. Oh, cool. I... I should read that. I like Jonathan Hickman, or I've heard very good things about his writing. So I attempted to do that on the Marvel Unlimited app, and that thing is just so confusing about what comics oh, you really? read next after next after next because all of the Marvel comics are just so like, yo, this stream I'm getting from you, Armand, is not awesome looking. Hot uh, if you were at home, just imagine that this game uh, was not produced in the year 1998, and then you'll get a good sense of <laughs> what it's supposed to look like. Oh, hey. hi, Mike. Good to oh, see you. Oh, is Mike here? What's up, Mike dude? knows about Marvel Comics continuity. Oh, yeah. Mike is uh, very well informed, is my understanding. Or certainly um, better informed than I. So there is something called Midnight Suns in Marvel Comics, which I didn't really, I didn't really understand. And this is sort of like an adaptation of that story. Wasn't it S-O-N-S? -S, Midnight Suns? Like... 
sins of the father lead to the sons or whatever? I'm willing to uh, I'm willing to believe I can you. Feel it, Rox. Trouble um, in the air. Prince Casper asks, "What More the fuck is a marble?" Joining you soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And Bravo. Mike, Mike confirms Midnight Suns does exist. Welcome here. Oh, I love Johnny Blaze as like Sam Elliott. Uh, Me too. I'm I'm here for it. It's called a sanctum. And well, this, this is where fate has determined the sorcerer supreme needs to be. Hey, can I ask you a question? Why do yeah. they have Benedict Cumberbatch put on an American accent to play this character? Is it really Tell that unbelievable fate. that Doctor Strange and would have a British no. accent? This is the secret guardian. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Totally. I, I do, Use in fact. Mouth. Mr. Stark is like, brash, but I assure you, he can be trusted. Wait, you seriously don't know who I am? The fabric of magic is shifting, Johnny. Mm. The prophecy of the Midnight Sun is upon us. Your last crusade cost me plenty. I love this, this take on Ghost Rider. Yeah. After my own. Yeah, me too. Hey, pal, I don't think you understand. Things are changing. Two plus two no longer equals four. Up is sometimes down, and strange here is actually starting to make sense. Do I look like someone who gives a damn about any of that? No, you look like you should be bouncing. <laughs> best for best the character in all video games yes. is all I Ghost Rider know. from this My Marvel game. Ghost Rider who has no know. time for anyone's oh, shit. I love it. It's already here. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> that dude just got shot. Oh, no. Um, Ghost Rider is the fucking coolest, this is what rocks. I have determined. Hell yeah. Oh, that's funny. We're doing the Marvel Cinematic Universe comedy thing. That's that's nice. I'm glad we're doing a little bit of that. Yeah. It's okay. It's fine. Robo Man. I know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, man. Anytime stuff moves on the screen, <laughs> it looks real bad. <laughs> oh, Video um... gets exciting. Okay, cool. Well, this is going to be good. And the old man runs off with that precious page of yours. All right. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Attack skills and heroics. One card play. Johnny Blaze has sacrificed a great deal for this world already. I am certain he will come around given okay. time. Just a time was the one thing we didn't have. Uh, all right. Let's just wrap this up. I got about sand in my nanopolymer weave. And you know how that'll ruin a day. Um... All right, let's try this blast card. Let's Looks like fi five attack plus one heroism. Oh, ho, ho. okay, that was pretty awesome. Yeah, so so there have been um, interviews with the developers of this game. This is developed by Firaxis and published by 2K. Um, where they're talking about how essentially they started with the pitch to Marvel as this is a Marvel XCOM game. And they realized all the stuff they have to strip out of XCOM to make it work for Marvel, such as... Mm -hmm. Superheroes don't don't hide behind cover, don't die, really and don't have limited something. movement, which gets rid of like ninety really percent of XCOM. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, and so that's where they came up with this card idea: is to have randomness. Oh, sorry. The other thing is that they don't miss. Like superheroes, oh. like Iron Man does not have a sixty-eight percent chance to hit. Chance Iron to Man hit hits, right? Yeah. So the randomness comes in sort of the way that like Euro game design works, where randomness comes in not on a die roll, but on a card that you draw at the beginning of your turn to determine what your options are for that mm -hmm. turn, which I think is a cool, uh, you know, there are plenty of tactics board games that work that way. Well, you just murdered everybody. Yeah, that was um, Iron Man gets the job done. He's sure. Or Robo Man, excuse Ro me. Robo Man, yeah. I'm still getting used to the Marvel Universe. Uh, um, Agreed. As I am a fan of the distinguished competition. Yes. You're okay. always talking about the green arrow over here. Yeah. This dude I actually won't stop talking about Shazam. Yeah. <laughs> you should bring a couple more. I what love me some Billy Batson. It's true. Um, so, right. um, hey, uh, listener or viewer, if you're. Let me know how you feel with this audio mix. I get that the audio from the game sounds that a little a, a little iffy. But, it's no but if if it's us. just let me know the balance oh, if it sounds right, it sounds wrong, or if anything also, anything seems funky, now, let me know. Then you take the extra Psycho says it's good. Gladly. It's good. Alright. Knockback. Cool. Yeah, That's so true. there's a lot of like forced movement and stuff in this game. Ah, okay, Psycho cool. said it was fine. He didn't say he was it was good. <laughs> Got it. Let's I'm drinking a this. jar of water right now today, everybody. 
If you got some water where you are, why not treat yourself and pour yourself a glass? Oh, well, I'm an idiot. Some moonshine, I wish. Yeah. I could have knocked that guy. Turns out the red line is where you're knocking. That's where the guy goes. Yeah. So you're so, like aiming a, like a pool shot, kind of. Yeah. And well, you live, you learn, and then you get loved. Yeah, if you if if you're if you'd rather drink moonshine than water, go for it. If you'd rather drink tea, go for that. No problem. Oh wow. All right. Well, let's go for So why are you behind Iron Man's back but controlling Doctor Strange right now? Do you have like I think that's just I can move the camera. Oh, okay. I'm just You move uh, it with like WASD kind of deal? Yeah, WASD. Okay. Got it. Um All right. So let's Acts of Angramus. These animations look good to me. Yeah, me too. Like, I know this has gotten mixed reviews on Steam, but like, it's kind of cool. I'm going to be honest. The mixed reviews that I have seen have not been critical of this stuff particularly. Oh, interesting. I I haven't actually read any of the reviews because I didn't want to. Yeah, you're gonna need the help. The strategy to turn hero icons. Oh, okay. Got it. Right. Oh, that's nice. So they're all gonna try to kill Strange. Something. All right. So I should give Doctor Strange. In the spirit of cooperation. I'll accept your offer. Uh oh, Mike is sharing some comic nerd opinions soon. Oh yeah. Uh. Yeah. So it's the second part of this game. It's the dating sim Fire Emblem part of this game that people are critical of. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um. So you know, I have I have like a really absurdly overthought um, pitch for why it's appropriate for us to be playing this on this stream. Okay, here's Mike's oh. here's Mike's comics opinion. This won't end um, he well, dislikes please. the martialification of Doctor Strange's magic that got introduced in the Jason Aaron uh, run. He wants uh, Doctor Strange to have weirder magic I rather than, like, time. Uh, you know, a manifested axes and shit like that. Is what that's Mike's that's Mike's opinion on Doctor Strange. You know what? I totally I'm I'm here for that. I I agree. I feel like. Like some of the early Steranko Doctor Strange is like all about going into these weird geometric like spaces and yeah. seems really cool. I mean, I'm I'm as I said, I'm not an expert on, uh, but like, yeah, Doctor Strange has always felt a little too like, and I think maybe that's why I tend to go for DC stuff in general is that like. To deal with a few more, I'm afraid. There's this interchangeability to the Marvel heroes' powers, I think, in oh, some that's ways. Really interesting. Interesting. that's really interesting. That's where, uh, like, I've never considered that. Where, like, you know, like, they've... And maybe this is just because I've interacted mostly with it through games. Um, right. But, like... Uh, let's confirm that ability. Air superiority. This will be cool. Uh, that was pretty cool. Um, okay, so we're doing a Seinfeld reference. That's good. Great. Uh, <laughs> you love to see it. Let's do that, and we'll knock him into that. Let's give it a go. Um, but that said, I think this is awesome. I'm having a, a ball doing this. I cool, good. It looks it looks really fun. I'm I'm excited to check it out myself. To be honest, yeah, I um, like XCOM Tactics, but Marvel is like very. Yeah, I agree. I mean, there's a lot of things in like the tabletop game space that that fill that niche. There's. Um, in terms of well, there's Marvel Champions, right? Which is not not exactly a tactics game, but is like a sort of uh, um, action economy, resource development, um, mm. threat uh, mitigation sort of deal. But there's also a Marvel mini it. minis game that's current with a very similar name called something like it's Crisis Protocol. It's called. 
Oh, cool. That I, is that is a like map based tactics Marvel superheroes deal. Hmm. Yeah. Crisis protocol. Okay. Um. So I guess I can't use this. What are you trying to use? Uh, these rocks. I guess I can't. Well, it's. I think your target. I think you're, th you're you're trying to pick where the target is, and you're like I think you have to throw it at that guy. Well, I okay. So I click that, and I think there's a range, though. I think that red circle is like the target oh, has to be. Oh, I see. Within. So that rock is not. Got it. I got it. Right, is non-functional for attacks. And... I see. I see. All right. So I think I just have to end my turn there. Um, Prince Casper throws out the idea uh, and threw out an idea with a long enough message that our uh, on-screen representation of. Twitch chat just exploded. But oh, no. basically what he said, and I'll, I'll share this with the viewers at home who are unable to read this as the, this text train wrecks. Maybe I should upgrade. Maybe I should replace the way that we do that, huh? Um, but he's like, why are comics, why are Marvel comics happening on Earth given how fantastical and crazy everything is? Like, why not put it in a fictional setting? Um, and I think there's, I think there's something to that. My feeling about Marvel Comics broadly, the thing that I like about Marvel Comics, is that. Oh. Let's see what this guy's magic looks like. Great. Is that they like? There are all these different tiers of of storytelling. There's like street crime storytelling. There's space mm. storytelling. There's political sci-fi in X-Men. There's like, you know, yeah, whatever. Like political. Uh, thriller in Captain America, that kind of stuff. And it's like the if gimmick of Marvel comics is that it takes all these different genres and then collapse them into one universe. Universe. See, totally. Yeah. That's what I love about food. comics is that it's basically all like a setting in which all genres exist simultaneously. Yeah. And so you can get weird mix ups of like supernatural horror and street crime like right. uh like what if ghost rider was like you know uh fighting uh pablo escobar or whatever um yeah so so Which, for me on the street level stuff i i like i like that spider-man happens in new york city i like that daredevil happens in new york but yeah. i agree but there's so little focus on that kind of storytelling in the cinematic universe stuff um, yeah, that like Carol. person I have been trying to reach you. He'd have come that himself. that thing that I like you doesn't manifest itself that often in the Marvel comics stuff that you see out in popular culture. Yeah, I think. Well, I think that's one of the reasons why Spider-Man has been so powerful is that he is more relatable. You know, he's like this kid just trying to get through life, and it's a more down-to-earth story. Yeah. Then show me by activating the wards. In the meantime, in honor of our missing companion, the rest of you may feel free to smash away. Oh, did Hulk go um, missing? Hulk was calling from the West Village. He was like, hey, dudes, I'm over here. I can't nice fight one, in... I don't know what's happening. <laughs> if it seems like we've been paying attention Besides, to the story, we picked up some uh, crazy gamma readings. Coming boy, have we got a revelation yeah. for you? <laughs> so that explains the hydrogens and ominous green lights. All right, so yes, but not let's get the winds of Watumba. I do like the so name. So you, you select the target, then you move the slider to knock back. Guys. That's cool. Yeah, it's like a golf game. <laughs> it totally is. Yeah. It'd be fun if I had to measure the like precise magical stroke to like throw that wind of Watumb. The wind winds of, of Watumb. Watumb. So are you drawing a, a card of hands for all of your heroes or for one hand for each hero? Uh, it's one hand for all of the okay. heroes, I think. Um, so oh, you'll have redraw. some rounds. Okay, cool. Oh, so I hit R. Yeah, Gorgogi, this game is, is XCOM with um, mischance, cover, and limited movement cut out and replaced by random card draws. What? 
Uh, the developer gave an interview recently where he was like, I was playing a lot of Slay the Spire, and I took some of, of that sort of, like, deterministic, mm. um, like, guaranteed result from action kind of deal. But this is a turn-based game. Oof. And I'll say that if it weren't, we wouldn't be playing it on this stream. Like, <laughs> makes like yeah. for me, the, one of the things I like about playing video games and looking at them from a tabletop RPG perspective, which is oh, kind of what we're trying no, to do on the Twitch channel, is considering the way that like turn-based stuff creates storytelling and creates interesting choices and that kind of thing. So, mm. Ultimate Alliance, I enjoyed. The most recent one that came out, I, uh, d uh, let's just say, did not enjoy and thought was one of the worst video games that I tried to play, which I tend not to play a lot of bad video games because I read reviews and trust experts and stuff like that. Like, I don't play a lot. Of you must kick the couch first, <laughs> dude. <laughs> kick that couch. Kick that couch. Cool. But yeah, I really dislike the most recent Ultimate Alliance. Uh, I tried to get my wife to play it, thinking it might be like a fun sort of couch co-op thing that would just be like a a dumb good time. What do you? What, what's what's happening here? Ah, there we go. I was ah. trying to get like so this is like super golf. Yeah. Getting it done any way we know how. Ah. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Seems here? good. Sorry. Go ahead. Um, I, I really liked the Marvel Ultimate Alliance sort of beat em up games. Those were the originals, at least, uh, one and two. Um, I really liked those. But Davenport was at least a century old. What a waste. Um, okay, now here's the thing where I figure out how to kick somebody out of our stream. Um, because they just, like, spammed our thing. Oh, geez. Yeah. <laughs> Um, how do never I never had that problem before? I know, isn't that isn't that exciting? That's kind of exciting in a weird way. Beep boop. Interesting tactic. Beep boop. Uh, Agamotto's gaze. Should we try that? Draw the last two attacks. Spam bot banned. Unfortunately, their spam is still on our chat again. Let's upgrade the plugin that we use for chat, shall we? Let's make that better. Instead of this thing that a spam bot can just hit and destroy the legibility of our stream. Just an idea. Mm. Okay, so double my current heroism. Let's I have two card kills. So what is what is heroism? Is heroism a resource you get at the beginning of your turn? I believe so, yeah. Or no, uh, heroism is what playing attacks and other cards gets you, and it's another resource that like you use to power your more powerful So that thing attacks, in the lower left-hand corner of that Doctor Strange card is how much heroism that's going to add to your pool. I think so, yeah. Okay. So... Interesting. Okay, so you have some there. cards that are like draw draw management kind of stuff. So this is this is not terribly dissimilar from um, Slay the Spire in a funny way. Yeah, Slay the Spire for sure. But I was gonna say Marvel Champions because there's stuff like that in Marvel Champions. Also. Oh no, kidding! Yeah. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna use this as a. Let me show you the way. Robin Lang, Lang a big Marvel Champions fan, by the way. Oh no, kidding! Yep. I I. Weirdly, I feel like I haven't even heard about it. Um, Marvel Champions. I'll I'll have to check it out. Um, it's the same um, gameplay engine as the Arkham Horror uh, uh, Living Card game. Oh, cool! Which I also haven't uh, played, but would like to. Arkham Horror was like the first board game I played that introduced me to like, I must be the popular you know, today. Um, I guess they're called Ameritrash games, but I, yeah, I like loved big, it. Big chromed out strategy games. Yeah. Yeah. Keep showing up. They are it's like a tutorial or something. In any event, <laughs> I must provide Wanda the time she needs to activate the wards All of right. protection. Let's see if I can get her to move so I can blast these homies in a line. Yeah, give them the old line, the line blast. Oh, no, no, I don't want to. That's wanna... the wrong, that's the wrong character. Wrong hero, friend. How do you, we want... oh, there you go. Marvel Captain. 
Uh, I never saw the Captain Marvel movie, um, but I I like Brie Larson a lot. Um, yeah, I uh, I did not love it personally. Mm. Um, it, it feels like this is my this is my here's here's a here's a, an opinion coming from from me now. It feels like the, oh my god, <laughs> that yeah. animation is insane. The animations in this rule, I do have to say, they look great. Like <laughs> the, the violence is so brutal. <laughs> also, that yeah, it is. Um, I love no, it's great. They made. I mean, I think this. I'm 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 really actually surprised at how good looking this game is. Yeah, but I feel like I feel like in in introducing characters for for new like new characters in comic book movies, the like the trope of the origin story movie, the one that where they start as a normal person and become a superhero, um, is really well worn. But I think not as well worn as the people producing these movies thinks they are, and I think that the the movie gets in its own way by making a very in my opinion convoluted and strange way to twist the, the superhero origin story on its head and as such it comes off uh emotionally in my opinion unengaging because you're not being given like you they could have made you a ham sandwich and instead they made you like a molecular um, gastronomy thing with ham and bread suspended together and it, it, it doesn't taste like right in my easier. opinion and you just want the dang ham sandwich, sandwich is, is i'd rather they do something that works up. that's like cliche yes, than something I that doesn't work that is confusing <laughs> that, that's just my fair opinion. enough yeah hey, how dare you what a what a shockingly reasonable i think a lot of people are like it has to do something new in order to justify its own exist its existence and i don't feel that way like i'm i'm game for well-worn territory if it's if it's engaging emotionally yeah totally but I, 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 I found the movie Something's complicated in ways that were not helpful. Not something, mm. someone. I think that's maybe another thing that I have a hesitation about Marvel stuff is that the interconnectedness of all the storytelling, like they lean too high on um, or too hard on uh prophecy or not you overstep challenging the like big event oh, like big absolutely. comic events absolutely and absolutely. i just want no like question. a story arc that i can follow like yeah so that's what pushed me out of reading the jonathan hickman x-men is i couldn't figure out where to go next because there was like a, every once in a while interweaving with something i would need to like read five issues of a comic that then got canceled and then pick up a nut like yeah, like it's, it's hard such, to. It's not a user-friendly way of telling a story at all. Totally. Yeah. Remind me of my own beloved. I completely agree. Well done, Miss Maximoff. Well done. You really blasted those idiots to death, Wanda. <laughs> Yeah, Kurogi. Every time I try to get back into comics, that happens to me. I I had a moment where I was just like, I'm only gonna read manga. <laughs> like, One Piece is two thousand chapters long, but you can read chapter one, then go to chapter two, then go to chapter three, etc. Yeah. Go back there. Plus, I feel like the options for reading online are. However. Yes. Really nice well, uh, yeah, for manga right now. Shonen Jump, pay them three dollars a month and get access to their entire backlog. That's amazing. It's amazing. Like, that's amazing. It's amazing. You will that's... die before you finish reading. All yeah, that stuff. I mean, yes. They, Shonen Jump has been around for how long and has like. So I don't know if it's their entire backlog, but it's like uh, the the sort of the modern digitized run yeah. of what you would imagine. You know, like you can read all the Naruto, you can read all the One Piece, all the Dragon Ball, all the, all, and then every everything else trickles down from there. All the JoJo, okay, that's that awesome. stuff. Not all the JoJo, because not all the JoJo has been translated. But you get what I'm saying. And where is yeah. here exactly? Salem, Massachusetts. One of the most fun things well, I got to do for Dynamite uh, Comics when I worked there was like just Welcome looking ahead to seeing what yeah. comics we could license and so i got to oh, read some like nights. manga that uh um, 
was up for licensing that hadn't uh, been brought been over. Been, yeah, and it was very cool. I read That's this cool. one that I got really into called Darwin's Game, which is like pretty weird. It's like a. Oh, cool. Oh, is that the uh, Trad Moore Ghost Rider? I don't know. Caretaker. Don't know anything about that character, but they seem like they have a big shovel, hammer, yeah, square on a stick. Cool amulet. You're standing on my flowers. Oh, been a long time, Sarah. It's caretaker. I think I may be more if game for the this like jokey time. MCU oh, style stuff because a lot of reviews have been like, I don't like it, and I'm watching this and I'm like, this seems fine. <laughs> <after all. laughs> I, yeah, I'm happy to have this old lady yelling <laughs> at Iron Man about standing on flowers. Now. Hammer Knight. Oh, Nico Minoru. She was in the, um, she was one of the characters from, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? It was, it got an adaptation to Runaways, the, says Runaways. Mike. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Yes. I was hoping Mike would be able to, um, yeah, exactly. And saved the world in the process also now a force you want me to dig them up so and ask them to do it again oh. i never I read a force prophecy, Sarah, but that's going to be true about a lot of marvel comics yeah hey uh uh armad it turns out there's a prophecy oh there's a prophecy were, yeah in case you were worried about there not being a prophecy i mean i get a little uncomfortable when there isn't i like to know all of my choices to understand the story yes thank you what am I? What am I to do? Uh, uh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go, dude. <laughs> Prince Casper. I hope you look forward to Captain America's book club and bird watching with Blade. I kind of do. Yeah, I have real bad talk enough of taste that that sounds all right. Sounds. Yeah. Ooh, I would. Okay, so here's the deal, Armet. New rule yeah. for these streams: we always have to make hoot for all of our playable characters. I love that. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Um, all right. Let's figure out who Hoot is here. Yeah. Let me get the let me get my Hoot lore up. Um He's the Forest Watchman. He's a Forest Watchman. He had a dream about being sacrificed to the devil himself. Right. Um that much I know. <laughs> oh, that's good hair right there. That's a lot of hair. Hmm. Are we sure we don't want to make Grant Morrison slash Lex Luthor? I'm not. I'm not sure about that at all. No. Not sure at all. I do like how many hair hairstyle options there are. Can you make your hairstyle what you're just doing right now of all the hairstyles flying in one after the other? I like a constantly evolving hairstyle. I love that idea. Uh, that's what I think we should do. Yeah. Hmm. Well, Pretty basic character creation here. Um, oh, that's too bad. I, I I just feel like there's nothing that's gonna like blow your mind if you've made a character b before. I sort of like this hair. I feel like volume is. Do you think that Hoot living out in the woods by himself, this little freak, has got that got that much volume going? I think he's got nothing but time to tease his hair up. You know. All right. All right. The forest doesn't need that much watching, does it? We've got some support for Big Hair Hoot in the chat, so I say go for it. All right. H how does this look, y'all? Uh, can we get the ch chat's opinion on I think uh, I think chat loves it. I Well, excellent. Let's do it. There we go. <laughs> I can't wait for this dude to arrive. <laughs> <laughs> this dude was just in the bucket. Oh, yeah. He's in the Mystic Prophecy bucket. Look at this guy. His hair was always destined to be glorious. The prophecy is true. Wait, he looks too awesome. Put him back. There's no way he could have that much body to his hair. 
Not without the darkest of magics. Oh gosh. Oh, Fnarnows. So, that's a good thing, right? So that happened. Okay, maybe I do hate it. <laughs> it turns out. What, his hair? No, or... Marvel, like, meh. <laughs> Like that style of like. Oh yeah, the little snarky. You telling me I just summoned a guy from a from a thing and now I'm here kicking and ass like a superhero? Uh, I guess so. All right. Like that shit. <laughs> yeah, totally. Whatever. Tony, come on. So I guess this is a thing I do now. Hey, how about a little bit less cutscene and a little bit more cutting people up in a scene yeah. game? Do you see what I'm saying? I'm sorry, I hate this game now. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it was cool, but now it sucks. I, I'm uh, glad at least uh, the adversarial relationship has emerged early so we can really lean into it, you know? Yeah. I'm ha um, always, always happy to do should that. Should I turn into a huge Marvel Midnight Sun stand just to offer the probably like, so? Yes. Yeah, okay. Controversy creates cash. So you give me more cut scenes. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> they really have been just <gasps> chatting for quite a while. Oh, this dude's awesome. Oh my Look god. Look at this guy. That hair, man. I so cold. But the air burns. <laughs> Random breath. question. Game you are most looking so forward long? to? Question from Prince Ooh. Casper in the chat. Game I'm most looking forward to. I have a sort of an... dumb answer, which is like, I was kind of this one. Like, I don't have a lot on my future hmm. timeline that I'm so pumped about. Um, My answer is kind of similar, but uh, I did my see a post on Reddit about fancy. like, maybe getting some armored core back from from soft mm. which like armored core was my jam back in the like no ps2 days so i, I would love alone. to get some mecha action now again admit, Hunter, you are you at all interested in the, the um entrance. front mission remake that are the, the, the front mission remakes that have been coming out i don't know front mission um, it's another um Mecha Guess tactics game from the nineties. You that should have struck had the chance, vampire. Look at this guy. This guy you rocks. Live to regret your error. Yeah. Cute. This guy is so Los Angeles. This nice. guy is like so like. <laughs> I'm a friend. You just don't know it yet. It's amazing. Yes. I also I feel like he's got a like real before. like. 1970s, 19, yeah, 70s. The I want to say play, like, and I'm no ordinary B movie sci-fi genre vibe. That's like, I'm picking up a lot of yacht rock vibes off of this guy. <laughs> also <laughs> that, yeah. Daywalkers were a myth. Um, to me. people are excited about Tears of the Kingdom. Says to have human um, Gorgogi says Tears of the Kingdom. Prince Casper says Hollow Knight, Silk Song, or Stalker Two. Mm. Let me let me actually think hard about this question and come up with with a reasonable answer as we start doing uh, dialogue trees <laughs> in this tactics yeah. game. Yeah, heard my fair share of stories from Caretaker. Oh, this blade voice is the killer, though. Hunter. Yeah, it is good. Child of Lilith, last champion of the blood. I want to hear this guy so say, cool. Angel, "Blade is the fucking blade. best." Oh my <laughs> god, rocks! That series of movies is so good. Too. I never like, saw the third one. Darkness. Blade it's Trinity. not great. Um, I have a fondness Shit. for it, this just because like have me do the meet and greets. I can see. Why. I like it, but it's probably not right. good by any as reasonable standard. But also, Parker Posey as a vampiress is oh, like, oh wow, cool. <clears throat> the prophecy is in hey. motion. And there's some insight into my psyche. Uh, if anyone <laughs> wanted it on the stream, I'll, I'll, I'll be learned from that as that you have taste. Really going to love yeah. you. Um, I just rewatched Best in Show, incidentally, mm -hmm. and she is so yeah, funny in that. You know what she's good in? Josie and the Pussycats. She's great in that movie. Hope you're up for no kidding. I yeah, that movie have not seen that. Rules. <laughs> that Does it? That movie is awesome. Yes. You're telling me I should watch that? Yes. Okay. Watch Josie and the Pussycats. Watch it. Shit rocks. Okay, done. It's so good. She and Alan Cumming play the, play the heels, and they are... Oh fantastic with each other oh that's like a dream team it's heel amazing. combo it's, it's the best like, it's the best you should watch it it's it rules <laughs> i love awesome. how this guy runs with his hair it's so good this guy is so this guy they brought the biggest dork back from yeah. from prehistoria 
Hello, guys. What? <laughs> How are you doing? But no. Hey, let's do some more dialogue. Oh, this is the dating sim portion. Yes, gotcha. of course it is. Of course. Oh my god. The witch who called me back from this guy rocks. <laughs> Every time I see his hair, it makes me happy. I like every single time. Every time, yeah. Oh man. Hi, we're a bunch of idiots that nobody gives a shit about. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this is the guy who... Um, I like magic, though. I'm a big magic fan. Trad Moore uh, redefined of recently. Course. Oh. Caretaker has reformed the Midnight Suns. Well, Found a bunch of Zoomers and made them put on tight hoodies. I can feel it. I always do. No, magic's cool. I like magic. Magic is one of my favorite X-Men characters. She's from uh, the, I, I was going to say, like, X-Force and, yeah, like, like, New Mutants. New Mutants. Yeah. I like her metal, like, band t-shirt. Yeah. That's how you can tell she's cool. Basic stuff. Because she likes fictional bands. Library. A few places to chill. And, uh... Whatever the hell, I also do like the idea of like say, Robbie Reyes and um, Blade like playing fucking video games together. Yeah. That kind of rules. <laughs> of course, that doesn't well, stop I, I hope you're ready to be doing that for a long time no, in this game. I, I think yeah. that's like kind of what this game is. Oh, and one more thing. We've got some new house guests now. You think we're a fun bunch. Just wait until you meet that. Why like don't you just introduce me to them? Why don't you just We're just here. help me meet them? Yeah. Um, I want to come up with a good answer for this game I'm looking forward to. Oh, Hey, what was the name of that Mecha Tactics? Uh, Front Mission. Front Mission. Yeah. I I, mean, I think that that first remake came out pretty recently, and I haven't seen. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it got pushed back or something. I haven't seen anybody say anything about it. Oh, okay. Here's what I'm excited about. Here's the game I'm most looking forward to. Metal Slug Tactics. I am oh, mega pumped for. That sounds um, awesome. Yeah, so it's a tactics game using Metal Slug's art style, like oh. great animations. Um, it, the, the trailer that they put out for it a year or two ago at this point, I thought looked uh, awesome. And so that's that's absolutely... But it's like I have a pretty narrow band of games that I'm excited about, like... I I like turn-based games. I like it's good to you know, see that face story driven yeah. games. And that's about it. Was yesterday. Um well that's news to me. That sounds awesome. I love the metal slug. I remember yeah. there was a Neo Geo um like SNK arcade game that had, you know, oh, Samurai sure. Showdown sure, and of course, like of course. at the little burger no, no, joint in centuries. Idaho. <laughs> nice. um, and I'd love every time yes. we go and get a burger there, centuries. I loved like playing some Metal Slug and, and yeah, what of Lilith? eating Follow some burgers. Yeah, great for sure. Snow Bunny in uh, Haley, Idaho. Yeah, so if anyone's there, go go do it up. Play it's Metal the best. The kids literally speaking of Lilith. Oh, that's this stream name. is getting fun. Tony, that's, Chunking uh, up. Carol and oh, over there. you lucky dogs, yeah. you. Help with what? These exactly. guys are like, hey, we're the famous people here. Oh, uh, throwing the how's it going? Amulet into the volcano, <sighs> smiting the dragon mother. You tell us, kid. You are the chosen one, after all. Smiting the Dragon Mother is actually a very obscene sex act, so it's kind of rude that Robo Man said that. Yeah, I've never pulled it off successfully, but I've tried it many times. It's hard. I mean, it's, like, I, I'm not sure. I've, yeah, you said you have to be flexible. That's it. Both of you, actually. That's what we have to go on. Results of your long crypt sleep, most likely. Yeah, one uh, Prince a Casper pointing out that the ratio of action to chatting has been one to three. One kind of wonders why they thought this was what people wanted. Dude, I like have noticed this a lot in games recently. Is like they're trying to lean into this sort of cinematic nature of games but it just ends up with like me sitting here bored on, off my yeah. ass and being yeah. like just let me fucking play this game it's not that hard <laughs> i think especially coming from xcom where it's like the story in xcom is largely um like emergent right it's like you make right. a, a strategic choice that puts you behind on 
being able to satisfy oh, like what the you know council wants and then you have to race to catch up. like that's those are the great story moments in XCOM. they're not the scripted you know what i mean it's, uh, totally yeah no it's about the story you're telling by playing the game not right and the game has systems in place to make for exciting and tense stories right and it it's like, like emergent that's... narrative from totally. dramatic gameplay moments which is one of the things i love about games is like the story of you playing the game is like a narrative that you wouldn't arrive at any other way. Um, yes. It's one of the things I love most about playing role playing games together. Oh, it's like sure. we're all telling the story together, you know? Absolutely. Um, all right. We found a menu. Hey, Hell yeah. I let's can, go. Let's <laughs> fucking get me out of here. God damn it. Holy Jesus. Yeah. Hey, look at these dudes. Oh, <laughs> look at this dork. Do we have to bring the dork? <laughs> Can we leave the dork Honestly, at home? Honestly, like, I, I'm sort of realizing I now have to live with this guy no, for the, the yeah. rest. But the thing is, I think the things that are bad about this guy are also the everything things that is that not are... the hair are the things that you did not control. The things that are good about this guy, i.e. the hair, are the things <laughs> that you did control. Oh, thank you. Yeah. All right, let's just go. We're taking Blade, Dr. Strange. Time to Given speak to Dr. Strange. In the astral oh my God. Should be seeing something. Are you ready? The prophecy of the midnight sun does not linger, and neither should we. Little Why isn't this guy British? Dark like, what are we doing? Forced her way into my yeah. sanctum sanctorum once. Poor Benedict Cumberbatch. Why isn't this guy so Jason so Blood is my real question. Who is Jason Blood? Oh, he's the DC. He's the demon. Um, Etrigan. Oh. Gone, gone, form of man, rise the demon, Etrigan. <laughs> Mike, I know that Comic Strange is from New York, but Benedict Cumberbatch has a, he is a, he's as British as Marmite on Melba Toast or whatever. Is that really Australian? Yeah, that's pretty Australian, yeah. 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 Um... Don't worry, You're doctor. We'll survive. We'll save your we'll home. See to that. By Here, my tousled the, hair. The Sanctum Sanctorum has weathered its fair share of trouble over the This years. is what I want for Space Doctor Strange in terms of the so British and so New York mentioned. deal. This time, I want a David Bowie situation. I want somebody I who is deeply British, ability, but, but has been living in Manhattan for I decades and is a New Yorker through and through. I just want David Bowie as an occult superhero. Absolutely. End of story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, sorry, I should have just stopped there. Yes. Yeah. That sounds case, fucking amazing. You can cast my I superhero see, movie see, anytime, see, buddy. <laughs> it's, it's just going to be rock stars from the 70s playing a bunch of different superheroes, by the way. Uh, here for it. Let's let's keep casting this film. Okay, Who, Edgar Winter is Ghost Rider. Fuck yeah! Oh, I love that. <laughs> T. Uh, Mark Bolin is Wolverine. <laughs> I was totally here for I was it. just trying to find the smallest person I could I could think of. <laughs> was he short? Mark Bolin. Oh yeah, yeah. Very a very small man. Oh, absolutely. Mr. Brooks. Time. I think he's like barely five feet tall. That's amazing. Yeah. Must be I have no idea what's going on in this game right now. They're like, having there's, a little chat, dude. There let them no let them enjoy heard. each other's company, okay? Several times. Just, Otherwise, I would still be hunting. As an editor, this is killing me. Like, yeah. no, it's like why. I clicked this, this thing that was like do mission, <laughs> and what do I fucking get? More cutscene. Like. Magic is the have gamers answer. been like, no, you know what? It's cool. It's no, they haven't been. Nobody more cutscenes. Nobody like, wanted this. I want more cutscenes. Like, I love harebrained schemes, but this is like the exact uh, problem with the latest uh, Shadowrun. Um, oh, really? Yeah. Is it's just like again, cutscene, 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 and it's like you have good writers. I know you do, but. You need an editor to tell you, like, hey, let the player do the thing. You know? Like... It feels like in this instance, they're trying to make the case for production value to justify this as, like, a full-priced, like, AAA game. Got it. Yeah. That, that's how it feels to me. Like, I feel like this game, if it were really focused on gameplay and systems and stuff, people would be like, is this really worth $70? Hmm. That... Um, 
does kind of make sense to me, actually. All right. Limbo portal. Great. Let's go. Um, I will say the other side of that is that I, I do think the production value of this game is like very surprising to me how good it is, given that I actually kind of expect not that not great. Like, I don't expect to see a lot of money on the screen in a fire access game. Totally. Yeah, I, I agree completely. Like the the animations for the attacks and everything so look gorgeous. I think these character models are good. I think Blade looks great. I agree. And and I also think awesome. like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's the hair. Clearly... The hair tech is, is unmatched. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, totally. Like, it looks amazing. And like, the you can see the XCOM engine in it getting like a real saucy hairstyle upgrade and it looks beautiful um <laughs> mike is pointing out that the swords are clipping through your hair which, well yeah they're like <laughs> this dude's run just makes me with the hair why are they making you push the stick forward to go into this loading screen why <laughs> this is Exactly. What are we doing? Like, <laughs> why, are why we doing would you this? think that's a good idea for storytelling? Like, or for game, like for on either side of it. Yeah. It, it's just like, I mean, games useless. do that all the time, though. Like, yeah. I was I was playing Xenoblade Chronicles a while ago, and like that game is full of like, hey, check out this 50 minute cutscene, push a stick forward for 12 seconds, check out this 50 minute cutscene. <laughs> like, it does that mm. constantly. I've heard great things about Xenoblade. Chronicles too. I have. Hey, yeah, here. I kind of like it and kind of don't. Like it. I also love that the like New York pedestrian like uh, comment background comments. All I ate today was a bagel. <laughs> is that what that dude said? Yeah, that was what that dude said, which is kind of. Well, at least we know the ward awesome. protection is still in place. Taking the time to really introduce us to the world of New York City. Just making sure yeah. we really get where we are now. World building, unmatched. Yeah. Oh man, who's that? Who's driving it? Is it going to be a, uh, a named bad guy or a bunch of dorks? I think it's going to be Hydra. Okay, sort of splitting the difference. Okay. Kind of a named character, kind of a dork. No one's getting through. These animations that they're doing, like the martial arts stuff that they're doing with these like glow sticks and stuff coming out, looks good. Action looks really good to me. Yeah, honestly, I'm now that we're back in the game, I'm oh, pretty hyped about I'm this. I'm pretty hyped too. Let's let's make this happen. <laughs> Jesus, that was painful. Looks can be deceiving, I'm afraid. There's no way these foot soldiers are behind the disruption of the world. Oh, quick! Oh, that's that's neat. cool. That's a neat ability. All right, slash. Um, this is cool. Whose card is that? Uh, is that Hunter? Uh, which one? Slash. slash. Yeah, I think that's a okay. uh, Hunter that's card. For, that's that's a Hoot card. I can't wait to see how Hoot. Oh wait, here. Can we move? I get one free move, so I'm gonna move. Who should I move? Not Hunter. No, I should move Hunter. And we're gonna try and kick this wield. Yeah, absolutely. Continue to reuse move. Oh, okay. Okay. Why? Why can I not? Got bad perform? news for you. you can't perform oh, action. I don't have enough heroism. Okay. Well, can, you, can you do some stuff with somebody else and get some heroism and then do it? Uh, that's an excellent idea. Let's. Maybe, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Let's do. No. Let's do that. But you're okay. Yeah. Sure. And then I'm going to knock. Screen shake and stuff are cool. Hail my hair. That's right. Um, this is our Hydra officer. All right. I'm going to go. <laughs> I've. Two Prince Casper left. points out that Hydra would maybe be more effective were they to buy um, attack helicopters and cruise missiles rather than electric batons. Yeah. <laughs> Reasonable. It makes sense. Also, given Hydra's history, 
Why would they deploy infantry against heroes who they know are going to kick their ass? Yeah. Like, I want to. I want to take a step back um, and just address maybe a trend with that this game is completing of tactics games that I'm interested in that I dread playing because of not how bad the story is, but of how long-winded the story is. <laughs> that triangle strategy game, I played the demo of that, and that is half a tactics game, half just dorks talking about nothing. Like, oh God. no efficiency in storytelling, just like nonstop chat chatting and chatting and chatting like in my mind here's here's my pitch in my mind mm -hmm. a tactics game as a methodically paced turn-based thinky game should have quick spiky explosive storytelling rather than languorous is that a word um yeah. you know extended long world building ish storytelling Hey Finder, what's up? Welcome to the old stream. We're learning about uh, about what Birds Blade enjoys watching. And also fight these animations though. You murdered that man. You killed yeah. him. I straight yeah. I think that's one of the other things I, I like find a little disconcerting about Marvel stuff is like the amount of murder that the superheroes commit. Sure. Well, you know, not every not everybody enjoys murder. I get it. Yeah, no, it's it, uh, I go back and forth, honestly. Like, I I also do think there's like a fun story to be told around like like I, I've been watching uh, Jupiter's Legacy on Netflix again, which like based on a Mark Millar um, comic, I think with um, not Chris Burnham, but um, Frank Quitely. Um, who is obviously just like a fucking amazing he's, he's, he's real good artist oh yeah i met him at uh, a dc party one time and he was the nicest guy ever too he's just like a very uh pleasant human being and uh frank nice. quietly as you might guess is a, a nom de plume um and so he introduced himself as his real name and i was like oh, oh hey i thought that was uh frank quietly i i could and then afterwards, I had to go back and be like, I am such a huge fan, and I stan you so hard, dude. You're amazing. Uh, and he was, like, very lovely and Scottish nice about the whole thing. nice when you meet somebody thing. like that when they're, like, a nice, cool guy, you know? So it was so refreshing and lovely, I have to say. Um, Speaking of Mark Millar, right, uh, Prince Casper points out that the superheroes murder a lot of people angle is one of the reasons why they enjoy the boys very much. I love the boys, yeah. And I think it does uh, that. Now, why can't I just... What if you, like, mm -hmm. mouse wheel it? Can you mouse wheel to re-aim that thing? Yeah. Like, you're trying to get the cone to show up in the right direction, right? Right, yeah. And I think I might just have to move, maybe? Like, the angle of the cone is determined by the approach from the superhero? Yeah, which feels a little annoying that, like, yeah. I have to waste my one free move to But I guess that's where the hard decisions come in, right? Yeah, like that's, I guess. That's where the game is. Yeah. And there's probably, True. like, other cards that give you a wider range of motion that you can build up to. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to use the Blessing and the Vashanti to give plus five damage so maybe hopefully i can use some of these quick attacks to uh i like it wipe out some of these chumpos like this hydra commando or yeah let's do that We've got more support for jupiter's legacy coming in on the chat broba fett enjoyed it as well yeah i i think it it's um like i there was a ton I missed the first time watching through that I did not remember, and I think it's pretty awesome, actually. Um, it's a lot of fun. Nice. I I think The Boys is my preferred, maybe, but of the two, but uh, definitely you I don't have to the choose. Boys. Like I, I I don't know why I. Uh... I, I I just like could, I don't know so something turned me off about it immediately, but I I, I mm. am getting more and more convinced all the time that I am missing out. 
Uh, Anthony Starr is so good as Homelander in it. And right. Yeah. I've seen him in a number of memes. I kind of know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, of course I moved. You moved Hoot. Knock I that dude back Hoot. into the guy. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, let's do that. I think that's great. You have earned this. You have earned this. Um, these animations are good. I know I've said that a number of times. I'm going to continue to say it because they continue to be good. Yeah. You're dang right. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I guess then the combat here becomes more about movement, which is, I mean, makes sense. Positioning is the very essence can you, can you, of a modern you, major general. If you hit the main guy, can you knock him back into that dude? Like, is your, is your cone correct if you do it that way? No. Oh, yes. just barely. Yeah, let's do it. Let's give it a go. I like that this superhero game is secretly a game about cone management. <laughs> it's all about the cones. That's the thing is with the video game, you're always like, what is the game actually about? What am I doing? Oh, this is a game about rearranging cones. Fantastic. And I not not to knock it. I, I love I love a, a visual yeah. puzzle like that. Why not? Cones of Dunshare. Known yeah. for cone management. The great, the beautiful game, as I call it. Oh, and here we go. I get to now... Because those are quick, is that why? Yeah. And I'll knock that guy out. Cool. Get... Oh, cool. I can knock him into that thing. That's fun. Oh, that is fun. <laughs> cool. Oh, that looks that was... good, right? Like That, that looked, looked really good. I think... In moments like that, that's where I feel like they're really getting the superhero thing. Like absolutely, and that's one of my way. favorite my favorite um, tabletop RPG things is trying to find that like this, this person gets knocked into that and hits their head in that way, kind of stuff. Like that kind of like moment to moment, like martial combat thing is something that I have totally. a lot of fun with. I, yeah, like, uh, David using the knockback feat, uh, has been so cool to see of late. I think you may be spoiling something, Armin. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Spoiler <laughs> alert, y'all. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, I did. I fumbled hard. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> shit. Amazing. Well, y'all got that to look forward to now, That's so, so funny. Uh, it's pretty sweet. <laughs> God damn yeah, it. no, it's fine. It's totally fine. Finder's pointing out, oh no, somebody used a skill in Pathfinder. Yeah, it's true. It's not much of a spoiler. And next, uh, you're gonna say someone rolled the dice, says Finder. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Look, uh, I don't really want. Ooh, look at this knockback. It's so. I, I mean. This is what it's, these guys get for like fighting in a place littered with hard objects. I wonder if I hit both of these things, it's going to do more damage. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's learn. Let's let's learn together. Um, um, it didn't seem like it. My hair is so good. It's Hoot's so good. hair is just like, like yeah, tremendous. Chain two. So what does chain do? Select multiple targets. Oh, okay. or the same target multiple okay, cool. times, which. So if you have something that procs on hit, it's like that's a good synergy, synergy with that. Wait, right. What? Yeah. Cl Hydra. Blade, Blade Classic mommy about? missers. Let's do some property damage. Eat brownstone, sucker. We're too weak. Fight. All right. Well, All right. here we go. You saw my hair and still chose to attack me? You fool! That's right. Doctor Strange is like, it's cool when I kill people, but weird when you do it. Stop. The mother is eternal. Hydra is the one of beds. Oh, dude! What just happened? He, he, door. He injected himself with Hulk juice. I guess. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
Well, that's not generally what you look for in a townhouse, you know. Um, yeah. That's going to hurt the, the Zillow estimate quite a bit. Yeah. Lovecraftian horror included this one of a kind New York City townhouse <laughs> known as the Sanctum Sanctorum. Uh, Mike asking if anybody's played Cult of the Lamb. I feel like Cult of the Lamb is a strong Armat uh, game. Yeah, I've heard excellent things about it. Um, I I want to try it. I yeah. I've actually been sort of eyeing it on Steam, so maybe I'll give that a shot soon. Yeah, Mike says that it's on sale on nope. Switch. I don't know if that no, means that it is on sale on Steam, but it might be. Uh, is it better on Steam or Switch? Oh, it's certainly better on Steam. <laughs> right? Okay. Absolutely. Because cool. I will say I love the Switch. I love the idea of the Switch, but I do find um, the practical. Ooh, Fallen Venom. Ooh. Okay. Okay, cool. Sort of a hat on a hat, but I'll take it. Yeah. Oh, I'm lunch! Yes. I bet this is where the game really starts to show itself, where you have actual... I mean, now that there's like an actual hero. boss fight, I'm very excited yeah. to see this. Um, I'm going to say, I would like this game. I am maybe this is just like a, a a result of streaming something, but it's like I am roller coastering through this thing right now, where it's like when it's doing stuff I'm excited about, I am having a blast, and when it's doing yeah. stuff I'm not excited about, I'm like, this is the worst. I totally agree. Yeah, like um, honestly, yeah. the sort of slay the spire clone here is fun um yeah, and the like deck management part i'm enjoying always eating the spleen this guy is uh, always saying the weirdest stuff right, stream is let's... really having a good time right now oh really yeah. oh boy just in case you're wondering what uh midnight suns looks like when running on a super nintendo it's this <laughs> you're lucky to still be breathing uh, Cult of I'm the Lamb, gonna... 20 bucks on Humble right now, according Ooh, to Probofet. Okay, okay. I'm going to redraw a heal card. Prince Casper asking about predictions for the Game Awards. Are you asking about predictions for uh, th like games that will win awards or games that will have trailers at the Game Awards? Because in my mind, the Game Awards are like kind of more a trailer show than an awards show. Like I, I have... I'm pretty unconvinced by the Game Awards as as an awards show. What it takes two won like a lot of awards last year. Um, that seems like it hurts the credibility of that show substantially. Um, yeah, Mike says Elden Ring or God of War win everything. I think that this is Elden Ring's year, like from front to back. Any, like that that game uh, is like clearly such a phenomenon. And, mm. and feels like it's absolutely the game of the year. Like, I don't think there's much of anything that... Just in terms of, like, cultural significance and stuff. I'll put this to good use. There's rumors about a um, Death Stranding sequel, uh, mm. given that um, Keely and uh, Kojima seem to have a tight uh, working relationship. I would expect... I would hope to see something of that, and I hope it's bonkers and stupid. Um, my buddy know. was doing a like think piece about the um, uh, Death Stranding. Um, I'm not sure if he ever completed it, but it, it was like right at the height of the pandemic. And, Absolutely, uh, the way that he like predicted <laughs> the pandemic in that game is yeah. madness. Okay, sorry, dude. You know, for, like that that sort of insult where he's like, blah, 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 monoforms are for the weak! It's like, well, then why are you so mad about it, man? Like, if you think that I'm doing the weak thing, why are you pissed off about it? Shouldn't yeah. you be happy about that? That works to your advantage. Oh, this is kind of cool. So, like, every turn you get new chumps, but you're... You... Right. That's because that's a that's resource, right? You, you're, you're getting heroism by 
uh, by blasting chumps. And chumps, you can knock into things. Okay, Cr Prince Casper is excited about New Ace Combat Elden Ring DLC. I think there's a very good chance of that getting announced, right? That seems like that would be the time that that would get announced. Um, Escape from Tarkov update. Sure, I buy it. This guy's fun, right? Venom's a cool guy. Yeah. He loves talking about various organs. Like he's uh, ordering food at a Bulgarian restaurant. Oh, here's a question. How yeah. do people feel about the Venom MC movies with Tom Hardy? Because I love Tom Hardy, but... Uh, Mike earlier commented about the turd in the wind line from the, the Venom trailer or movie from the first... I think it was in the, tra it was in the trailer, right? They put that turd in the wind thing into the trailer for the first Venom movie? Did they? I, I don't know that line. Um, my understanding of those Venom movies is that people like them. No kidding. People that... enjoy the Venom movie. I think that the second one people did not enjoy as much, but I don't. Th I think that people are still down for it. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. I I have to do it. I think because I. Psychodema says that they are terrible. He says that they're shit. Ah. So. Okay. So mixed. Let's mixed. call that mixed. It's mixed. There's a mixed yeah. reaction to the yes. Yeah. Um. Well, that was a bad decision, I think. You feel regret. But you did, and you did feel regret, so that was correct. I, I, accurate, yeah. Just as, as, the, as you were feeling regret, Venom called it, like a Babe Ruth pointing at a, at a home run. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Ah, okay. So I need to use ranged attacks on this chump. Oh, this is like that Final Fantasy boss where it's like, don't attack him now, right? Like the the boss at the beginning mm. of Final Fantasy VI or whatever. Oh, I'm out of card plays. I just right. I've just made a real hash of this. Let's be honest. I think you're fine. I think you're, you're too strong for you. My hair is too powerful for you, traveler. He's jealous of the remember hair. that. That's like a shade of meaning away from him going like, did I do that? Like that, that <laughs> sort of like smirky one line. Yeah. Oh, look at this guy. Little rocks on oil there. Um, I actually Ooh, just went back to, um, I never read the Dwayne McDuffie Deathlock. Um, I don't know what that is. Oh, uh, Dwayne McDuffie, he was one of the best comic writers. I wrote my senior thesis on him in college actually. Um, for his hardware series um, for Milestone, which were awesome, incidentally. Highly recommend. Nice. He's like doing some crazy smart things. Dude, Hunter is and, hurting. You got to get him out of there. Yeah, I guess I kind of am. But that's why I'm a heel. Hey. I feel like Hunter is like my answer to Dazzler here. You know what I mean? He's got yeah. like that 70s glam vibe. I um, love it. It's working for him. Okay. Uh, Mike points out that there's a new Fire Emblem in January. Ooh, that that's game exciting. looks great to me. That art direction on the new Fire Emblem, like that trailer is like... It's a cliche to say that Nintendo knows how to art direct for their old and messed up hard, uh, hardware, but damn, is it true. That game looks no nice. From me, demon. Hold up. We don't know what we're dealing with yet. <laughs> Venom's teeth are very clean. I would expect Venom to have dirtier teeth. Oh, oh come it's on. that famous man. The, I will uh, say that is. Yeah, you're into it. Awesome. You feel it. You love it. Perfect timing. Love it. Cool. Yeah. 
Spider-Man! Jeez, Eddie, what happened to you? That's part of a horrifyingly terrible new look. The tongue was gross enough, but... Whoa! Someone is extra touchy today. I'm into this. I like this. This is a yeah, this is a narrative heavy thing that I'm enjoying. So I'm thinking your friends here could use a little break. How about I take Eddie here for his afternoon walk? The Spider-Man is too muscular. I need a wirier Spider-Man than this. I like the behind the back uh, web swing there. That was pretty cool. Very cool. Victory! Hell hey, yeah! Hey, three you stars! You earned all three of those stars, my man. Oh, stop! Oh, I mean, stop. I mean it! I mean it! You earned it! You did great! I, uh, what I'm pretty stoked about is the co you get a cover with your character on it. Like this is smart game design. Does is the like. hair is the hair on the cover? Can you zoom in on that? Can you give uh, us a little more a little more of those those locks, please? You can edit the photo. On oh. top of it, uh, I wonder if I can get a better pose. Let's add another hunter. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, hell yeah! He's definitely doing the He-Man of Eternia pose there. That I, mm. I I'm gonna ask you to change the pose because it's obscuring his hair. Yeah, we need to highlight there, his. Oh. Oh. What's the best hair pose? Let's that, let's that find one's it. nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Can we do that? Okay. Wait, you liked this one? The like, Just I'm about to shows spin me up. The most and... hair, I'm happy. I'm literally judging it by no other metric. <laughs> can you have him turn around? Can you? <laughs> yeah, that's good. Can you wait? Sorry, can you go back to that one? Which one? This one? Yes. Then select it. Okay. Now, can you rotate him so that we just see his hair? Perfect. Okay, <laughs> done. Can you can you just confirm that, please? Of course. Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> You've saved a photo. See, this is I think this is really smart game design is like <laughs> getting you to like get into the comics feels. Like yeah, the, I like it. I agree. A very smart understanding of what I want out of a game. You know what I mean? Like to make me yes. feel like I'm. <laughs> Dude, this guy's hair just fucking. It's killed. awesome. This it's guy rocks. so good. I'm so happy. With okay, you. let's keep moving. Let's confirm. An yeah, exit. let's c confirm an exit for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god, I feel so good about that. Yeah. No. Gameplay tip: Have fun walking around this mansion for four hours. Yeah, you should talk to everybody. <laughs> And the worst thing is that, like, if you set me up to do that in a game, I'm gonna do it. And yeah, it's because I'm Absolutely. like a. You want to be a good game guy? Yeah, like if you have things for me to do, I'm gonna do those things. Yeah. And you even if I end up game. hating myself a little bit for doing them, I'm I agree with you. Yeah, I think I might start playing this game. I think I might do it a little bit. Yeah, you yeah. think? Yeah, I'm a little bummed cool. that there's no like co-op option here like i yeah. guess maybe that's the me hoping I mean, for ultimate alliance stuff but i uh i think that 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 uh New clashes with the Some hand management thing mm -hmm. yeah it does look. what look and also the like Charging you're the hero the hunter enemy. and a hero in like sure the lives yeah of and your teammates just to play the hero Caretaker, I have to tell you, I don't care about anything you're saying right now. This is the Fire Dragon all over again. Fire Dragoon. My memories may be fragmented, but as I recall, I killed the bastard. And all it cost was a village. Oh, of course. Village had bad vibes. I see it now. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had to say it. Needed an upgrade. That new village, so good now. Yeah. I sent you to help. Super grammable. Um, Finder, we spoiled the whole thing, I'm, you, but you did miss it. I'm sorry. Far more than the, the sanctum or Wanda. She means I could have died. Again, putting an end to her eternal crusade against my mother. <sighs> So this is all about mommy issues. Is that no, that's right? It's enough that you oh, okay, all made okay. Cool, cool, cool. Very cool. 
more or less. Where do you Your think I got this glorious mane? Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. I got it from my mama. We'll talk more later. Get some rest. Oh, so she's doing the like, there's good mom and there's bad mom. And so Lilith is demon bad mom and oh, caretaker okay. is secret like good mom. Got it. All right, let's go to the map here. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. That's a big map. This is Why is the map, map so big? I, I don't know. Hunter's Sorry. Folly. Could you imagine being alive and having a place named blank, like your name's Folly, still while you're around? <laughs> uh, let's just head on over to Lars's Folly. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I feel like the number of locations you could choose as that would be too high for me. It's like <laughs> right. all of America would be our Matt's folly. Um, because <laughs> he, he really screwed up this whole place. Yeah, he's really made some terrible decisions in his life. Fiasco. And it would have been far worse had Spider-Man not arrived. There, this is did. some ludo narrative di di uh, dissonance. The Blade game just told us we did three stars. Yeah. good. And now Blade I, is like, this sucked. Yes, one disaster. Of I, I got a, a a cover feature. Right. Hey, have you seen my hair there? on the latest issue of Does Doctor Strange hands? Monthly? Even uh, no. given you were wearing what 70, 80 pounds of chainmail. On the stark scale of I feel a little bit like, hey, man, you're just a guy wearing armor, too. OK, yeah, that's like, true. come on, man. Like, sure, yours is way more advanced than chainmail, but like. Um, think you could have done better. You could have done better. If you could, you would not have raised me from the you dead. You would Besides, not have raised me from the dead. Your head air doesn't have nearly as much volume as mine. <laughs> right. Criticism. You did a commendable job, considering you were, you know, reborn yesterday. I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I this I uh, take on Tony Stark is a, he's a real wiener. <laughs> like, yeah. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. So here we are. Here we are. The whole room, huh? Here we are it's in a, a new location. Yeah. Functional, solid construction. Let's Almost talk about crazy. what this location is like for a while. The then let's continue on with the story. The Mephisto collection. <laughs> Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. What are you talking about, dude? I... But I do not have a quill. I do not understand your better. joke. I am from the past. <laughs> I simply jest. It is an ink derived of the spider lily flower. Red spider lily flowers. He didn't wipe any of that of venom gunk off of Obviously. him. I know. With just a touch of Manphibian blood for power. Ha ha! Another zinger. And we'll just leave it at that. Let's watch two miserably people unfunny people, people try to be funny at each other. Jumps out, rips my face off, and proceeds to feast on my soul. Um, well, I guess you're you sleep just gonna do what you're gonna do then. I suppose this arc reactor isn't gonna crank itself back up to power because that's how the arc reactor works, right, guys? The uh, hand crank mechanism. Open Tony's sort of present. What did Tony get you for your Hi, birthday? I'm Tony Stark. Hi. If you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world... Yeah, the Tony voice actor is a dweeb. Why is he a dweeb? One isn't yeah. he, like, rich? <laughs> like, isn't that his main trait? Why is he like, oh, so I guess I'm just gonna go over here and watch... I'm, I'll be in the next room, I guess. Yeah. A private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man. <sighs> that seems like that's a reference to something in comic books. Uh, I, Wonder I Man find quite funny. is a character. That, um, that's all I know. That's the so, extent of my knowledge there. 
Wait, so you're doing superhero Facebook now? I'm doing superhero Facebook. Cool. Uh, Good. Is there any way I can not do this? Like, this is the antithesis of what I want in a hit, superhero game. Yeah, hit the escape key. But you do get to see the latest issue of Doctor Strange with your cool hair on it, though. Yeah. Explore your room. Oh, hey, Tony, thank to? you so much for that present. For I, lo I loved it. No, I, lo I thought it was great. I loved it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yes. Now we are talking. You got a rare hunter sweater? Yeah. Yes. Tank top. I don't know. Which, what's the most... Wait. What's our What's our hootiest outfit we can put this guy in? Yeah. <laughs> this dude is such a goof. Look at this dude. <laughs> I feel like... The, I, I love the tank top. Can we go I think the top? tank top is... Yeah. Is, is where we're going. The there outfit go. has been added to your inventory. Do you get to change your pants too? Is there anything? Can it, you go back? It changes in there? everything. Oh, it did? Uh, I just noticed yeah. the shirt. I was too busy looking at those guns. Yeah, well. As well you as well you should be. Oh, I can Oh, that's nice. You can constantly sort of Oh, Wait, I I'm sorry. Roots. I'm sorry. I'm, can you go can you go back? Can, yeah. Is that a vol hair volume slider? Are you able to I do you have the hair uh, no, set at no. lowest it, volume. It's like, just that. <laughs> would that that were the case? Okay. Uh, this hair style is called volume. Oh, okay, uh, okay, for okay. That makes a lot more sense. Eminently understandable reasons, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, um, sorry, I don't think we should touch this. I think I think this this would be this would I mean, be gilding the lily if we did anything in here. What if we added highlights, though? I think that I. I mean, you, you got to do what you got to do, but I think like perfection is perfection. It well, when you're right, you're right. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I see. Looks, that changes. His, he wears various kinds of tight jeans. Yeah, let's change, change our outfits daily. No, I don't want to wear the combat outfit. I don't even want to wear the combat outfit in combat. <laughs> yeah, accurate. Can you imagine if this dude's running around with this like choker and tank top combo? I definitely. Oh, the eyeliner looks good. The, I like the eyeliner. That might. Yeah. I don't think that's gilding the lily. I think that's that's a strong choice. I I concur. Eyeliner and it's must... just as well because it's not going to be in any of the comic issues that we get at the end of missions because we are flipping him backwards and showing off that hair in every single one of them. <laughs> look at this guy. Wow. I, what do those I trunks do... look like? What do those trunks look like? Oh, let's. We've got the common yeah, trunks, but we could also think, go board shorts. I think. I think board shorts. I think that you are in too good shape to be wearing board shorts. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh oh, there's upper face props. Let's see what we got. Face props. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Aviator, should we do them? Well, let's see what the lower face props look like. Yeah, that's fair. Uh no. Ninja mask. Absolutely cool, not. But no. Head prop. Royalty. Ooh. Head this headband. Would, let's this talk would about that headband. All of my remaining currency, but I think it's worth it. You're gonna go with right? the royalty headband? Don't you think? Or Can should I ask we do you to the take aviators? another look at the regular headband? Just to consider, okay. Oh, you know what? You might be right. I think the regular headband might be where it's at. That's cool guy stuff, in my opinion. Yeah, let's do it. Speaking of like metal oh, slug. this guy is so cool now. <laughs> Can we dude. look at him again? Look at this guy! <laughs> this guy kicks oh my ass! <laughs> He's the best! Oh my god. Holy shit. Yeah, dude. Wait, uh, Mike wants to know if he can change his underwear. Are we are we able to change his underwear? Uh, let's go. Let's go back. Let's see. Um, I think my underwear options are trunks. Oh, okay. and I have just enough Wait, for board is, shorts. Wait, but is it just swimsuit? There's no there's no underwear. There's no underwear. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, let's see. Com oh, this you can good. modify. Combat. But we don't. We haven't unlocked any of that stuff yet. Yeah. This guy uh, looks so cool. We definitely want. Oh no, I can't. We definitely want the uh, headband on. Yes. Yes. Combat. And the eyeliner, like, please, if we could. Oh, do that. yeah. Yeah. What What's going on here? Like, I don't know. Top boom, and bottom. Boom, perfect. Baby. This guy's Hell so yeah. cool. Could you imagine being as cool as that? No. I I think I would. I, I'm not cool enough to know what that would be like. Um, Prince Casper asks what this dude's superpower is. I, I don't think that that's really been too clear. Oh, why on earth would you do this? Uh, yeah. Who, who wants that one? 
We could have spent money on a... There, who are we buying this from? Tony Stark gave us a laptop with his dumb superhero Facebook on it and not a penny to outfit our, our like, Spartan living quarters after he roused us from an endless slumber? Yeah. Like, I'm getting what? some real musky vibes, if you know no what I'm kidding. saying. No kidding. Yeah. Not into it. Not into it. The vibes are bad, guys. The, yeah. Let's go find another mission to do or something. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> no. You just ran into that door. You look like an idiot. Let me out of here. <laughs> just running into a box. Look at my little jog. It's so funny. A name, oh, faded journal page. Yeah, let's see what the faded journal page is like. Aunt Aunt Sarah. Sarah. Okay, you're doing it. <laughs> okay, oh, ahead. do you want to do it? No, do you do it. You do it. Aunt Sarah wants me to practice my letters, and so here I am. But every time I dip this pen in ink, I just want more and more to go out beyond the yard into my secret spots. What? I left my dolls scattered oh, about okay. before the storm, and I'm afraid they're hurt. Do dolls hold grudges? Agatha says they don't, but I still feel sad for them. Okay, so is Agatha, oh, is that God. Agatha Harkness? Maybe this time I start writing The famous uh, Catherine Hahn character? Oh, I do not know. Um, she's the... I, I don't want to spoil a thing. Never mind. Oh, cool. All right. Um, um, yeah, so can we get out of this room, or is this where the rest of the game takes place? Oh, I have to explore... I, I you have, have to look at this pa painting if you want to go yeah. fight crime. <laughs> Agatha and Sarah with Hound. So she, the caretaker is Sarah, right? Sure. And Agatha, I, I, if no, I'm asking, is that so. the case? I have no, I have no idea oh, what okay, any of this cool. is. Go to sleep, dude. Oh my that, God. Yeah. You've had a hard day of reading a weird journal and looking at a painting. It is time to turn in. Keep, keep the headband on for sure. I do feel like we've successfully like created a character who could like appear in like a 1980s gi joe comic or like <laughs> yeah you know what i mean like yeah i think we've actually successfully this guy kicks ass will wheaton he's still wearing his tank top in his dream yeah. in my dreams i wear a tank top i feel like in his dreams he should just be wearing his swimsuit walking through this <laughs> This, this colonnaded, uh, you know, liminal space that he's in. Oh, hey, mom. What's going hey, on? What's up, mom? Oh, that's fun. No, good boy. Charlie, Charlie oh, know, my nightmare I know, dog. I, I missed you too. Let her enjoy the moment. She's been visiting oh. every morning for the past three hundred years. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. That's Sarah. Is what you're saying? So hard on. I got. I think so, right? Her. Yeah. I suppose. As opposed to I Agatha. A little curse before. A little. You already made the old. You still haven't like figured out how sheets work, have you, child? <laughs> do it again. Five hundred years and still no you sheets. Why did you even pay one hundred superhero <laughs> bucks for those bright green sheets? Still the most important. Well, otherwise it would have obscured my headband, and uh, I just can't have that. <laughs> These people I want you to see my headband. And legend, the grand hero of old. And they're right. You are This hero. dog is going wild. But I also know I'm super here for the good boy soul. or good girl, I guess, in it's this not case. Enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I'll Moody be a... anti-hero? Moody anti-hero! <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna go more like, I'll be a ranged uh, well, support healing hero? Is that an option? To show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we... Me, 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 not I, me. Mm. How long have you been alive? You don't know the difference between me and I? No. Caretaker. You should take care to learn some grammar is what you should do. Oh, shit. Hey, Nico Minora wants you to spend some boring-ass time with her. She wants to teach you how to play Parcheesi. Go and hang out with her. See what she's up to. 
All right, let's go hang out with her. I got 10 uh, gloss. Ooh, I got 10 gloss for yeah. petting a dog. This is just what life is like. You just get a, a set of obscure currencies from spending time with dogs. I can't tell you the number of times just hanging out with Hank. I've discovered, uh, what is this? Is this a- Is this 20 uh, gloss I've just gotten? Yeah. Oh, something about I need an alien. Um, Psycho Demus is upset that I said something bad about Nico. I wasn't saying anything bad about Nico. I was saying something bad about the idea of spending time with Nico. <laughs> hey, welcome to the haunted cafeteria. I think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell. Did I not say? I, I'm, I'm saying Psycho each time. I'm saying it. I'm saying that P. Uh, I think we're I'm good. saying it. I'm saying Psycho. Just in time. The forge has certainly changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. I'm saying Psycho. Yeah, so I'm just gonna my, this leave furnace. you guys to, yeah, to do Ahmed, this and find could, out if, about the Babylonian well, Demon Forge, you know. Yeah. Let me know how the video game is going. I'm gonna talk to chat for a while. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't seem like this is gonna be anytime soon. So just yeah, I take your like time. I, I drew the, like the way better straw on this one. Dude. Yeah, honestly, yeah. <laughs> chat so seems us from this. The, yeah. Your to offer minimal protection against your the armor was stupid and made you look dumb I thought you could use an upgrade I thought you could get well, some stuff well fired caretaker did not mention that you two are such skilled as smithies yep smithies I am iron smithy perhaps yeah so I think this interpretation of the Iron Man character is not great I think is maybe a lesson that we're able to learn from this thank you so much to all red for following us creeping ever closer to this 50 followers target we've been working on for my entire life. <laughs> 47 followers, three away. Oh, that's so close. It's so close. Stylish, damn near indestructible. And we even got no, put the tank top back on. What is this? I didn't spend yeah. 300 gloss for a tank top just to put on this armor that like Tony wanted me to put on. Hey, so put this on. I think you'll like it. Hey, it's gonna look pretty generic. It's gonna look oh, pretty look. good. All right, what's going on in superhero Facebook? Uh, Stephen Strange is like getting snarky about J. Jonah Jameson's garish friends. Let me tell you something about my conception of Dr. Strange as a character. He does not yeah. spend time posting to social media. Yeah, I hate this like, so you're much. You're imagining Captain Marvel going, tee hee hee, doop 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 doop, <laughs> like typing on her phone. Scroll Cree War, am I right? LOL. Only super Smiley parents. face, scroll yeah. face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to admit it, but somehow the scroll face emoji face is, is uh Mike says more useful only than super uh, parents use super neutral. Facebook anymore. Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss? Speaking of, it's not my tank top. Yeah, do you have one of these in I don't know a tank top? It is nice having an armorer on demand. Anytime. I tried to make this version a little less palatable to that symbiote thing. <laughs> this close to making it menthol flavored. I covered it with symbiote so urine. They're, they hate it. <laughs> I use them too. You were out, what, 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? Next thing you know, I'm going to be walking down the street doing the Tobey Maguire and yeah, Spider-Man 3. Absolutely. I, I, I have to say, I kind of love that sequence. In yeah, Spider why not? I mean, come like, on, we're all we're all adults. Everybody yeah. can, can enjoy that. Hey, which one of these six uh, questions do you want to ask? Is a technological marvel. Impact resistant carbon composites, some patent pending alloy mesh, and a few touches from Doctor Spooky over there. And hey, the built-in community patent pending. Iron Man can't anyone. get the patent office to hurry up. He probably meant that figuratively. Sorry, I'm being nitpicky now. I just don't <laughs> like this guy, and everything he says makes me mad. So it is. A I think that's an entirely reasonable. <laughs> it's kind of hard to go from Robert Downey Jr. to this. Right. Frankly, I wouldn't have used your old suit to wax the Mandarin's car. 
Like he doesn't need to be self-conscious. Like they turned him into like a self-hating dude. Is all this dude. magic a threat to your new technology? I might surprise some people to hear this, but I do like some things with rules. Isotope decay, magnetic fields, and gamma oscillation make a lot more sense to me than I of newt, bat wings, and a sprinkle of sunshine. At least they did before everything changed. Isn't that what he just asked you? Didn't he just ask if that thing makes you feel a certain way and he just restated the premise of the question back at him? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. So why is your best friend a you wizard then? Seem to work well together. Yeah. Well, no need to put a label on things. The guy is good at making sense of this madness every now and then. What label did he put on? Well, okay. I just don't know what I'm talking. I just don't understand what's going on. I Armand, what can you do to make this conversation go faster? End? <laughs> yes, please. Anytime. I can end it. Oh, you can. And let's do that. Okay, cool. Remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped up Hydra soldier? Well, I gave it a peek and it explains a lot. Oh, so you're right. So that was uh, Hel Hulk juice. It was Hulk juice. I can recognize the color green. Oh, hey, nice. Analyze the gamma coil. Hell yeah. I have to walk 10 feet to... Well, if they're teaching you an interface, that will come in handy in a, like, a less breadcrumbed what? way later on, then maybe this Do you is... think... Do you think that's what's happening, though? Yeah, I think this is the XCOM research um, thing. Oh. Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic. This is maybe the one dynamics. part of this that I don't, so uh, of the like mansion stuff that I that I, I am, that. I'm ready for. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping hmm. through Bruce's veins. It's a can the of Dr Pepper that I found. Unknown element. <laughs> Calling it coil for now, given its unique atomic structure. It's big red. I love acronyms. Regional, but we love it. The Nick Fury on a Monday morning, but Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They are using it to get stronger. Exactly. I have a talent for stating the obvious. That was the first lesson at demon hunting school. With a little help from Doctor Spooky and our haunted oven. Two Doctor Spooky jokes. Count them. Two. Count them. Suggesting we start on the board. ourselves with it. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line, I was thinking we apply this stuff. Does Tony Stark output. tend to have like a lot of friends, like or is he kind going. of a loner? I like never. Just give me a little time here, and I really can understood yeah, I don't that about the character. Toys. Actually, no. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? I guess superheroes tend not to have a lot of friends. Welcome to Tony's Scary Demon Cave. I'm Tony. Who are not superheroes? Oh, that's I something do I like, like about those Tom Holland Spider-Man movies. That's like there's a friend group in those in those movies, right? Yeah. I like the new Spider-Man movies. Me too. I, have to say I really too. like those movies. I didn't yeah, I the think third they're. One, but I really like the first two. Me, me too. Hot off the press. Hey, you got some cards. Forge. Ooh, cool. <laughs> we discovered the. We we asked ourselves the question: What if Blade hit a guy? And we came up with this amazing new technology of Blade hitting a guy. Oh, I get to choose one of them. Well. I'm gonna go with blade hitting a guy. Yeah, go with blade hitting a guy. Uh, when you have a minute, come meet me in the yard. Blade, I, 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 Blade's like, I heard that you came up with some idea of maybe I should hit a guy. Could you maybe talk to me about that? Let, let's work that through, okay? Uh, we're gonna need to. I'd love to know more about this idea that you have about uh, me hitting a guy. Welcome Some motherfucker's always trying to ice skate uphill and have me hit a guy. <laughs> Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Two I think our stream just went yesterday. down for a second. This now always happens. I'm so oh. mad. I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? Yes, about no questions. you. Uh, no questions. Right. I'm good. Thanks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get as far away from this... Uh... You interact with the sword to upgrade Dr. an ability? Knows Merlin. No. I'm still waiting for someone to take this sword. Ready to work? Yes, I'm ready to work. So Blade is our blacksmith. And because we just got a second blade hitting a guy, we get to upgrade it to be an extra chain. That's cool. I want to play this game. Yeah, that is cool. That is so cool. See you around. See you later. Thanks Thank for... 
Sir. teaching me to hit a guy. About you. That's how I start most conversations. Hey, <laughs> about you. Yeah, Can so... uh about you? I guess. I guess. Have you always been a half vampire? <laughs> or was there a moment when you were like, right. no, I'm not? D did you suffer some your kind of trauma really that you want to tell me about? Is your name really the hunter? Yes. Oh, I... Really? Your what? mom, before she became the mother of Wait, demons, no, don't make Blade a wiener, too. Hunter. Don't do this. Oh, you don't no. have to do this. You don't have to do this. The hunter. Why? That what if he were cool? Like, what if you just made Blade a cool guy? Things. So, is your name really Blade? No. What is it? It's private. Is it embarrassing? What are we doing? No, the hunter. But I only share it with friends. Oh, we're going to up our relationship with Blade high friend? enough that he's going to tell us his real name. Not yet. Don't take it personally. I... I Thanks. I, I think go. I hate this part mm -hmm. of the game. <laughs> I think I like, hate this. <laughs> I, I don't want to do any of that, well, to be honest. With Carol. you. Carol's lifting weights. See how like she's doing. Move out there, Hunter. Guess Doctor Strange picked the right supernatural demon hunter to resurrect. I'm Carol. Carol Danvers. But you can call me Captain Marvel. Can I call you Carol? <laughs> Carol's fine. Okay, good. Just they saw they saw they saw me coming. PR team. They wrote the joke to to, to 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 fend me off at the pass. And vampire guys, yeah. magic thunderdome sounds like fun, but we've got bigger fish to fry. Well, not so much fish as that ginormous invulnerable sewer ginormous. monster that swallowed the sanctum. Yeah, I good question. <laughs> Nicely done. World, so I strongly agree with your yeah. choice, Armat. Oh, I lost some love home. there. Oh, man. You, you were too real for her. Trust me, Hunter. I know the stakes. Wouldn't be here if I didn't. Right. She's like, Strange I can't help my, that my personality is terrible. I treat everything in the same annoying way. <sighs> my time as a pilot taught me one thing. It's that sometimes you've got to find a workaround. As in Hydra. They've got to know the way inside. Steve's always said they aren't much for talking, but then again, I'm told I can be rather persuasive when I need to be. I hate this part of the game. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, Let's start now. Just how oh. far are you willing to go, Captain? <laughs> Let's just say that I'm willing to unleash the power of a quantum singularity white hole on them, if need be. A uh, quantum what? Singularity white hole. You'll see. Yeah. Find me in the war room when you're finished here. There's a few things we should discuss. Oh, and Hunter? Welcome back from the dead. Thanks. She's nice. Yeah. Let's go to the war room. How do I... Yeah, let's look at our objectives here. And do they got a fast travel in this piece? No, I only have one objective. Go to the war room. Talk to Carol in the war room. You talk to Carol in one place, now talk to her somewhere else. The gamma signature. This game is riveting. How much of the stream has been spent playing the game mode that you actually want to play? Uh, I mean, we're evaluating as we go along. Like, we're heading into each of these sections with the expectation of wanting to play. Yeah. Each of them. I do have to say... Try sunlight. And whatever you do, avoid water. But wait, you're being serious? This is killing a lot of my enthusiasm that I, I had going into this. Armat, I have found that you uh, to its source then, right? You are very myself, effective. Like, you have very little patience today. for... You do not truck with bullshit in, in games like this. I, I don't! Like, when a game like, takes a turn, you're like... Uh, you, it, it makes you feel pretty bad, it seems like. Yeah. R-A-L. Cognitive yeah. Encryption, net well, uh, luckily well, I'm dead inside and don't care about anything. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just happy to, to yeah. go along for the ride. So, Broba, the we've we've done three battle sequences in these first hour and forty five minutes of the game. Each of those has been great fun. Pretty fun, yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey. Come on. And Tell I think that there's been everyone. some of this well, okay. mansion walk around hey, talk or stuff or that has been in the service of the story in a way that feels fine. Like I'm I'm I don't hate what's happening right now. My favorite kind. 
Anybody up for paying it a visit? Ooh, definitely. Warehouse fight. Aw. I'll go to that? a warehouse. I'll fight a guy in a warehouse. Why not? Yeah. Goosebumps. It's like 90% of what comics is. Yeah. <laughs> warehouse fighting. Find me when you're ready. I'm ready. Is, Can there, I just There's go? just like very, very odd choices set up in the packaging of this thing. And it's not even like gameplay choices. Like it's all presentational stuff. Where do you go? M mirror ta table. Select a mission. Is there that the, that's the table? Yeah. That no. table is cool. It's a good table. It's a good table. It was just recently right. that the Hudson... But it's also like the, the, the sin that this game is committing of like taking too long to get into uh, the open structure of the game. That's, you know, that's not unique to this game. Yeah, so, that is true. Um, all right, like I think eventually go. you'll be looking at that mirror table and selecting from multiple <laughs> missions, right? And this is cool. We love that. Let's see. Trench coat, sunglasses at night. I feel as though this game is very self-conscious about being a tactics. Like, I know I sort of said a version mm. of this before. I think this game is self-conscious about being a strategy yeah, game, about being a tactics game, game, about being a turn-based, thinky game. And all of the stuff that we don't like, I would characterize as, like, insecure production to try to obfuscate what the core gameplay of this thing is because they are afraid of this kind of game not being broadly popular enough to uh, appeal to a larger market. That makes sense to me. Yeah. Like I think 2K um, is not interested in selling a niche um a niche Marvel game for for tactics fans only. And and so it's like the core tactics game is has to what my like and i think both of our like sense of it in these early hours like it seems like an inspired set of gameplay systems and choices that they've set up yeah the narrative stuff surrounding it seems less inspired and feels like it feels like they feel like to me it feels like they there's a sense of obligation to add all of this other shit around it to make this a genuine triple a product Mm. Hydra's resident mad scientist. Not just Hydra's. Lilith's. That's magic coming from those crates. I can feel it. Yeah? How about gamma radiation? You feeling that too? Because that's some pretty evil looking Hydra tech down there. Gamma and So let's, uh, let's do this next mission and uh, maybe call it a stream. Yeah, that sounds good. I need you to use your science brain on this one, Bruce. That spinning ball is hurting the stream. <laughs> yeah, I don't do stealth. Kill them. Why not? <laughs> like, why wouldn't you do stealth? Yeah. Wasn't there a thing in um, She-Hulk where that is literally exactly that uh, that comment where they're about to infiltrate a warehouse? And She-Hulk is like, fuck that, and cho chooses not to do stealth. Oh, and I don't know. I haven't, yeah. no. I haven't actually watched uh, She-Hulk. It's, it's all right. Ooh. The There's our new sure Chain 3. New chain three. Your display, it's pretty cool. It by what is the you, five? Oh, that's the attack power. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, Do you have a knockback you can use to knock those chemicals into that idiot who uh, stopped right behind the chemicals? Oh, that's a fun idea. Let's see. Uh, one step ahead. Draw them. Three. Uh, I don't have enough heroism for this and probably won't, so let's All redraw right. that. Not enough heroism. We need, Should I do we need how much? We need two. Yeah. We can Ooh. get two. We can do that. So, like, yeah. you could use Blade to thin out the edges and then use Captain Marvel to knock the 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 barrel into the middle. And aren't these commando guys, am I recalling right, that they die with any hit damage? I don't I know. Think, I don't know. I think that's right. Yeah. So that uh, Some one. of them are. Okay. Cool. 
Watch close as I shoot this guy to death. Yeah. Take a close look. Blink and you'll miss it. So do you get more strikes from that card now? Uh, now I get three strikes, which is pretty sweet. Um, oh, is that, sorry, you played the other one. I get it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Do I do that? Yeah. Why not? Do I, yeah, go for three strikes and okay. see if I can finish. Oh, I see. So you call it three strikes and it gets one animation. Okay. Hmm. Cool. Oh, that's a little... Yeah, I agree. But I guess it makes it... It lets them, like, more flexibly add um, abilities and traits to attacks without needing to do custom animations for each of them. That makes sense, yeah. Um, what did that uh, tutorial just tell us? Uh, I kind of forget. Something about critical hits. Okay. Um, um, can you knock that... Uh, yeah, I'm going to try and knock this chump back into that explosive thing and... All right. Take this. Yeah, that looked awesome. That looked awesome. That's one hell of a move. That's mm. one hell of a move. And I have a redraw. So you got one more, one more card play. That's cool. So is the deal with qu the deal with quick is if you kill people with them, you get a card draw back. Exactly. Or a card playback. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Um, I can bleed. I wonder if that lasts that until lasts next return. term. I Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's do, it. do that. Yeah. Confirm. Should get the blood bumping. All right. Mm -hmm. There we go. Great. Are you playing oh, with the controller? Oh, I forgot to use mouse and keyboard. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I'm using a uh, mouse and keyboard. Cool. I think they like me. Blade is getting punched about a bunch. Yeah. You just made a big mistake. And what's the what's the um? Oh gosh. Oh boy. Tactics mode. Okay. What's that? I've never been one to buy into the science of magic, but the data I'm seeing is hard to ignore. There are more things in heaven and earth. Horatio. So this gives you a top-down view. You know you're talking to a vampire, an alien hybrid, and a resurrected demon hunter, right? All right. All right. Let's, let's watch the uh, resolution of the stream slowly go back up. Oh, it does look like the next attacks now have bleed cool. uh, on them, which Great. is cool. Yeah. So, so that chain two is perfect for that because you could potentially apply bleed to two different people. Yeah. So let's do that. There's one. And that'll kill that guy. But maybe we take care of that guy. And clear. The, is the guy right next to you going to die in one hit? Uh, the guy right next to Blade. One? Yeah, he's going to die in a single hit. All right, oh, our stream uh, this... has disconnected. That's fun. Always love that. Oh, that looked awesome. Nice. Now that was something. Nobody saw it because our stream went down. Oh, no. That's tragic. <laughs> yeah. Not great. Stream's back, baby. Hey, there we go. There it is. If, if I move here, I can knock. Uh, hey. Oh. And you got one more card play. So what are you trying to? You're trying to defeat all enemies. Okay. So let's see. I guess I could. Oh, I can just throw it at this guy or that guy. 
So you can do your move, which includes a throw, and then you play a card afterwards. So you get three, you get a three card plays, and then a free environmental move kind of thing. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And I think you can actually just use these. Oh, no valid targets within the. Uh, so um, that's outside of that range. So Prince Casper let's... says, taking advantage of your surroundings is something I feel is kind of missing from PF2E. Yeah, I don't think that that's like the focus of the game for sure. There's um, there's a like a, a Hong Kong action movie uh, RPG. Oh my god, what on earth was that? <laughs> that was steak, which uh, healed some yeah uh, stuff for Blade. And I think that's a pretty good turn. Um. Yeah, so there's like uh, uh, Feng, Feng Shui is like a Hong Kong action movie role playing game that I think has a lot more of that kind of stuff in it, like making action scenes. It's a game that's built around uh, shots are like instead of actions, like it's all about describing the shots that you're seeing in this action sequence. I think that there are options in PF2E about taking advantage of your surroundings, like TKP sort of has has a little bit of that element. There's like the there's some stuff with trip and that you can add sort of um, bludgeoning damage when they hit the ground. Um, right. There's the the archetype um, that lets you like do improvised brawling, like increases your your improvised attacks and stuff like that. So it's like it's kind of up to players, I think, to chase those things down. But that is not it's not remotely a core part of the system, for sure. But I think if that's the flavor of things that you like, you can kind of get some of it. But it is—it's absolutely not. It's absolutely not that game. I agree with you. Kill that man, and then you. Then oh, there are two. There are two guys. Yeah, that's. No. Is stop that guy giving... close enough to that box for you to use your move to to grab a box and? I think he might be. Yeah. Cool. Oh, but I also got a quick slash there, which will do the trick as well. Great. So there we go. Mine. You are lucky to still be breathing. And there we go. That's really interesting that it's like you get one free environmental thing and then Yeah, it's a little that's interesting. Unexpected no, in some ways. No. Quickly! Go, go, go! All right, um, Armat, maybe that's it for us. Yeah, well, uh, we'll just have to finish this 30-minute cutscene first. Yeah, maybe we don't do that on stream. Perfect yeah. All right, I'm going to switch us back over to the, to the thing. All right, I'm going to hold to skip. Oh, there's more mission, but why don't we just save and... Yeah, we're back on the two-up now. We're not even, not even looking at, a, at, the, at the game anymore. All right. Well, Armit, I'm quit. That was uh, a fun and interesting and perplexing experience. <laughs> uh, all of the above. I had a great time. Um, yeah, I, I really did. I thought it was a lot of fun. And there's a lot about that game I like and some things that I feel less strongly positive about. <laughs> For me, the question of this kind of thing is like, how do you get yourself into a frame of mind where you are able to enjoy that other stuff? Like, how 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 do you relax your brain to get on the same page with that kind of thing? Given that it's like, it seems like there's a lot of it in the game. Yeah, I mean, I think to me, what I'm coming out on is, I think that the hunter is supposed to be an analog for the player in yeah. like directly. Like, I think you should feel like you're putting like yourself into the game you know what i mean and i think because we have such a goofy hoot uh persona <laughs> i <laughs> my 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 like the hunter is not an avatar of me but rather this character we're playing this goofy one yeah and so like you know if it was like someone I thought of as myself, I might be more willing to be like, oh, I prefer these sheets, you know? And like, uh, I, I do want to like, and so I, I get the idea of like the gloss and the like, 
this is a chance for you to hang out with your favorite Marvel heroes and like right, right. get to joke around with them and get to do the like I get to star in my own Marvel movie here a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think that's a really good way of putting it. That that helps explain a little bit of why that stuff is there. Yeah, for it, sure. It, and and like I get that, and I'm not uh, immune to the appeal of that by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but also, those cutscenes are too long. <laughs> Yeah, and some of the, I just think some of the characterizations are are dicey. Like that that Tony Stark is is kind of kind of a rough. That's a that's yeah. a tough that's a tough stake to chew on right there. Right. I mean, I feel for the voice actor though. Like, of course, of course. Like, can you imagine you've been hired to try to follow Robert Downey Jr. Right. with like the performance that redefined what superhero movies are at a time when superhero movies are like the dominant mass right. media thing. Like, like nobody should, nobody should take that job. <laughs> like you should <laughs> totally. not do that. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean like, what's the voice director going to say? Like, Oh, that was great. That was great. Do you think you could get a little bit more RDJ in there yeah. a little bit? Right. Like, and you know, like good for them for, for not, Right. just replicating that but also it's it's like but that's also what people want you know like yeah it's an yeah, impossible like, thing to accomplish like i want to hang out with do? robert downey jr as iron man that sounds awesome that dude yeah. rules yeah. like it, it sounds like a great time um so yeah i i'm with you i think that's a very tough like it's a damned if you do damned if you don't kind of proposition in some ways like yeah yeah right it's tough and that sort of accounts for some of the uh some of the particulars about that performance or that um characterization that maybe aren't quite sitting right yeah and and i, I will say to me it didn't i don't have as many strong feelings about iron man uh so like to me that like slightly weenier version didn't really bug me um mm -hmm. but uh i can definitely see how it would uh for anyone who who doesn't have like sort of a net neutral like sure iron man he's people a guy. Have opinions people have got yeah. strong opinions about this stuff i yeah i realize i am i have like maybe not the strongest of feelings on yeah. this set of characters and uh, there are going to be people who have, except for Blade. I saw it happen in real time when they did some weenie stuff with Blade. I saw your heart get broken. I can like, I, I yeah. saw it happen with my eyes watching you play this game. <laughs> totally, Blade is like fundamental to who I am. I love those movies so yeah. much. Like, yeah, um, I right. think in the end, Blade said it best. Some motherfuckers always trying to ice this skate uphill. This, this game just keeps insisting on ice skating uphill. <laughs> All right, um, Armin, uh, I think this has been a blast. Another fun agreed. Saturday afternoon playing a playing a game. Uh, Can't I, imagine anything I'd rather be doing. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. It's true. I feel the same way. And uh, everybody who watched, we got a we got a nice yeah. nice group watching this one. That feels good. It's a good time. Yeah, it was um, fun hanging and chatting with everybody. Absolutely. And here's here's what I'm going to say to you: If you are not following us on Twitch, please do so. We are three away from our goal of 50 followers. We're trying to get there. Trying to make it happen. Uh, if you're seeing this on YouTube. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And if you don't know us from the Tabletop Gold Actual Play podcast. Check that out. It's on your favorite podcasting app, and it's a great time. I'm very proud of the show, and I think it is awesome, and I hope you think so, too. Okay, I got to go. My doorbell is ringing. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Bye guys.